Rise and shine. Mm. I'm gonna... Mm, nothing like a good hot shower. Thanks. Feeling rested, chipper? Ah, gotta listen to those new demos. Supposed to let the producer know yesterday, but you know how it is. Uh huh. Hey, you okay? You seem a little out of it today and yesterday. Everything's fine. We'll be fine. Don't worry. Cuz, you know, you need anything, I'm here. Wanna talk about Makoshi, you, whatever. I'm a master at cuddling, too. Got a black belt, multiple disciplines. Good to know. Going outside. Wonder if we can see the Crystal Palace. Also wondering why the hell I haven't played a gig there yet. that? Make a sick sample. Bra -ba, bra -ba. <laughs> cool. I bet. Give me a fucking break. Could have been important. If he truly was, he'll find some way to find me. Apropos of nothing, uh... I think our relationship might have taught me something. Really? What? Ah, uh, sometimes you just gotta say fuck it to the past. Damn straight. Past's best left where it is. And the future's worthy of very cautious consideration. Hmm. Wasted so much time running like a hamster on a wheel. Not sure what I was even after. Think about him often. I guess. Used to feel resentment. Sometimes something like longing. But most of the time I was just plain pissed off. Lately though, it's been nothing. Miss him? Not really. Not anymore. It's good, actually. Feels like I suddenly have a new space to fill. With someone I care about. I think I know the feeling. So what now? 
Yeah, I'll cut a new album. And finally, play the Crystal Palace, maybe one of the casinos up there. Then you know, all many of those rich, self-obsessed assholes will come and listen. But I'll make damn sure they'll hear me. I owe Johnny anything at all? I owe him that. Mm-hmm. Speaking of debts, I hope you know you got nothing left to prove. Anyone. I mean, shit. Maybe it's time you said enough's enough? Wow. I'll have to remember this moment. The fuck are you talking about? Carrie Uridine's worried about me. Carrie Uridine's just afraid you're losing your damn mind. And fuck me. I just don't want to lose you. There. Said it. I don't want to lose you. We still have some time left. Better come back in one piece. Or I will kick your ass. Seriously. I will. I promise. Good. Right here. Take care of yourself. This is what you do when you don't want to talk. But okay. <clears throat> You've been saved by the Dell. This time. I'm out. They're all waiting at the afterlife. Go. You're expected elsewhere. Good morning, V. Hey, Del. Are you prepared for takeoff? The afterlife. Head over there. Your wish is my command. My, don't you look tired? Did you have a difficult night? Difficult few weeks. Success weighing you down. Is that it? I was under the impression you had gotten all you wanted. That you'd shown the city exactly who is top dog. Can I help? I'd very much like to help you. Just take me to the afterlife. Quick, no more chatter. Gotta focus. Naturally. I've selected the shortest route. We'll be there shortly. One last thing before I shut up as requested. Don't worry, V. If anyone can pull this particular job off, it's you. See, I know you a bit, and... Well, I'm quite sure you know what I mean. Thanks, Del. I do. Good. Perfect. 
The box is ready and waiting. Something? My usual. Sure thing. People can tell something's up. Won't be able to keep it under wraps much longer. Won't have to. Take offs today. Today? Is that a problem? No, no. Just in that case, you're gonna need something special. Rogue had this little ritual. Before any big op, she'd knock back a shot of tequila. Silverhands preferred. Asked her once if it was for luck or whatever. Know what she said? Said it was about remembering. Said that remembering Johnny that way helped her focus on what was important. Anyways, afterlife tradition. I'm gonna mix you up one of our specials. Just tell me who we're drinking to. Mix me up a silver hand. Drink it to Johnny. I mean, I only know what people say about him, but... Betty love what you're planning. Shit, you're in a damn mood. I know. Good luck, V. Back together beautifully. Brand shiny new way. <laughs> yeah, somehow. Anyway, I had enough of sitting on my ass in the clinic. Feel much better here. Where well, you can tell everyone about your Saka Tower heroics. <laughs> you know it. But what you plan to do today, V? I mean, respect. Nothing else will ever come close. Take good care of yourself. And good luck. Thanks. V. I've long awaited this moment to look the latest afterlife legend in the eye. I must say, I'm moved. Happy not to disappoint. Sit, sit. Talk to me. Well, V, Rikoshi was quite the punch. You TKO'd Arasaka, in fact. Brought you eddies. Influence around town. But not just that. It meant positive paralysis of Arasaka systems. A few additional hatches opened up. My people rushed in, grabbed what they could. So it's all systems go for the op. I have confirmed the intel leaking out of Arasaka. The casino is currently testing a new security system. And it's true. They will be shutting it down briefly today. I believe you'll know how to use that moment. Won't be disappointed. Pick the best merc around for the job. So I've heard. But I'd like it proved to me as well. Speaking of which, nobody's ever pulled off a stunt like this. Where I'm from, they'd say it's straight impossible. They'd say you're taking too big a risk. Poetically speaking, flying towards the sun to burn up. They'd be dead wrong. All of them. Self-confidence worthy of a legend. Or of someone risking it all. <laughs> but I sense you know what it's like to lose everything. To fight for one last breath. I see it in you. This time tomorrow, should have the casino's client data. All of it. Don't forget your side of the bargain. Oh, I never forget a promise. Good luck. Position. Perfect. Almost to the second. 
my turn. Hmm. Satellites are down for now. Just got the signal. Signature cloaking activated. Remember, got one shot and one shot only. Yeah, and tell me something I don't know. Soon as it starts, there'll be no backing down. No chance at extraction. No chance of survival if anyone notices. Excellent. But if this works, you'll gain more than you ever imagined. Times when I had something to gain are long gone. Now, now I got nothing to lose. That's kind of grim. Then again, who am I to judge? Here goes nothing. Good luck. See you down bottom. Over and out.
My door's always open to you, V. There's always food on my table. Mi casa es su casa. No se te olvide. Ahí te veo, Vi. Hey, V. Long time no see. Let me guess, you still the top of your game in all of Night City? <laughs> yeah, I left all that. I guess I'm just calling to say thanks. For everything. It wasn't until I'd left everything behind that I realized how depressed I was for all that time. Take it from me, V. If you ever get the chance, just leave. Leave and don't look back. The weight it takes off your shoulders, I... I can't even describe it. All right, enough lecturing. Take it easy, man. Hello, V. How are things? Weather in the Badlands is pleasant as usual. My cooler melted, it's 90 degrees in the shade, and there's sandstorms heading straight for us. So yeah, you're missing out. No, but seriously. We're doing all right. Saul and I somehow get along, for better or for worse. But still, family's always growing, work's always piling up. But better to keep busy, right? And to think if it wasn't for you, I'd still be stumbling my way through Night City. So I just want to say thank you. For all you've done for me. I'd still be lost if you hadn't set me on the right track. All right, well, talk soon, V. Don't be a stranger. Hello, V. Um, Saul speaking. Heard about something big happening in Night City, with a certain V in the lead role. Uh, don't know what you plan to do now, but just remember, we always take care of our own. And, um, you're one of us now, V. You're an Aldo Caldo. Remember that. Ah, take care of yourself, V. And see you around. V, hey! Can you hear me? Shit, is this thing recording? Okay, well, all of us have been wondering when you're finally gonna drop by. We can get a barbecue going, knock a few back, do a couple of races, or pay a friendly visit to the Raff and Shiv. Guess what I'm trying to say is, well, Badlands could use a badass like you, V. Don't know what you got on your plate right now, but remember, you're welcome out here anytime. All right, now, take care. Ah, of course. Fucking voicemail. You're probably cruising in a different time zone or in fucking orbit for all I know. Listen, don't take this the wrong way or anything. I love having an input who's also Night City's bad boy. But... I wouldn't mind just sitting on the couch once in a while and listening to some music or watching some garbage sitcom with a bowl of popcorn. So, anyway, let me know when you're back in the city and grab some olives on your way back, okay? My martinis look sad without them. Actually, you know what? Forget it. I'm by myself. Get back in one piece, V. V, right. hey. So, here's the thing. A couple fellas from the 5th Precinct busted a shop selling illegal iron. Sawed-offs, stun guns, mustard gas canisters. Orders from on up were to blow it all to the ground. But then I thought, maybe there's a better way to use all this stuff for a good cause. I still remember what you did for us. For me and Randy. The city needs more people like you. I want to make sure they're equipped. This one's on me, V. See you around. Before samurai committed to seppuku, they wrote, to say, a death poem. It contained their final thoughts. 
about life, about death. I have read many of them of late. Some are truly works of beauty. Yet, I am not a samurai, so I bid you farewell with simple words. Rot in hell, Xero. Hey V, listen, I was just thinking about you, so I laid out a quick tarot. I know, I know the reading's not as strong without you here, but we haven't seen each other for so long, and I... Well, one thing led to another. Know what I drew? Strength, the Emperor, and the world. Babe, the world's gonna hear about you. Go and show Night City what you're made of. <laughs>